And this culinary trip around the UK continues tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, now, what lengths would you go to in order to make your dreams come true? Aspiring rappers Gavin Bain and his friend Billy Boyd weren't having much luck making it in the music industry. Rapping with Scottish accents didn't seem popular, so they decided they would rap in the American style that everyone expected. Only things started to escalate. Yeah, they managed to con the music industry, their fans, and even Madonna. Now, Gavin has written about their extraordinary story, and he's here now, but first, he's here to talk about the con and its consequences. But every single person that met us met Celebon Brains, the <laughs> California rappers. I made and lost over 250,000. Um, obviously, I signed one record deal, one publishing deal. Uh, I got over 60 stitches in my head from uh, one too many fates. Um, I overdosed twice. Um, I tried to commit suicide once. In the end, I was kind of left with nothing. I did my whole career on it. I could never sleep. I could hardly ever sleep because, and I'm just, get, you know, my conscious would just rip at me. I'm lying to this person, I'm lying to that person. We went on TV and lied to a whole, you know, a whole country. When you're lying 24/7, you you don't trust anyone. I know, I know for a fact that a lot of people were were hurt because people have came up to me and said, you know, you, I've been your best, I've been your friend for five years, and uh, you've been lying the whole time. Gavin's here to talk more about it. Good morning to you, Gavin. Good morning. So, morning. you went to an audition and you started rapping with your Scottish accent and yeah. they said, Nye. It's like, well, have you not seen MTV? You know, Scot <laughs> Scottish accents and raps just, you know, not going to work. Okay. You know, MC McTavish, get off set, go away. So you went away <laughs> and, came, and came back yeah. with a different accent and a different, well, yeah, a whole a different backstory, really. Yeah, basically, um, me and Bill just came back, you know, invented this whole story out of the uh, kind of iconography of Eminem's life and uh, a few other uh, rappers. Just created these characters, Cellable and Brains, and it was, wasn't overnight, but it was like you know, a couple months, record deal, publishing deal, perfect. <laughs> you were described as some of uh, the rapping proclaimers at one stage. Uh, it is a real transformation to take from being, you know, you're from Dundee. Yeah. Now, if an American comes over to Dundee and says, hi, uh, you know, I'm going to put on a Scottish accent, you're going to see right through him. How yeah, did you pull it off? Uh, just a, a lot of hard work. Um, watching Jonathan Ross's show, <laughs> recording segments of um, David Shimmer or, or you know, uh, Jim Carrey speaking, watching the segments uh, back, you know, speaking like them. We never broke character. Everything we did was in the American accent. Before we went down to London, you know, everything we did, you know, never breaking character. Okay, so stick in your character and your Californian accent and answer the next question, okay. which is, what happened next when you were signed and you got the record deal and you got loads of money, what happened to your career? Just escalated. I mean, um, <laughs> one, one minute no one wants us, next minute we're on stage uh, supporting D12, Eminem, uh, partying with Madonna. Uh, life was a blast. He's good. He is good. <laughs> do you have to, do you, do you change, are you the same character, the same bloke? Or do you just change? There, I was, I was, I was me. But like normally, it would be really exaggerated, and you know, yeah. uh, you would exude confidence, and that way you would extract people's confidence. I mean, this is the amazing thing. Obviously, it wasn't just for a week. It was quite for some time, and you're mm. building relationships all the time. And yeah. obviously, there's that deception. And I'm you saying in that little piece there that people felt let down. Eventually, when I came clean um, on stage with you know my, my band, which I talk about at the end of the book. Uh, which is Hopeless Heroic. When I came clean with them, it was about five years that I was in character for. And the band, my new band, didn't even know themselves. You know, so we're on stage playing at this gig where I'm about to come clean, and here's my guitarist looking like, you know, because I say to the crowd, you know, I'm Gavin Bain, I'm not, I'm not American. My guitarist is looking at me like, what? <laughs> is this a joke? You know, so everyone I knew for uh, five years was under this false impression of who I was. What's interesting about a book is it starts with you in a really, really low place, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you've sort of taken too many pills, and then your sister discovers you, and you're, you, you know, was that a consequence of, of continual lying? Well, for me, that was a consequence of, of my overwhelming fear of failure and death, which is a, a, a big driving force, and always, it's always, always been a driving force in my life. Um, and I'd always t told people uh, when I was younger, if I hadn't made it by 25, I, I would kill myself. You know, and so when, when things fell apart for Silver Brains, we never got caught, but when things fell apart for Billy Boyd and Gavin Bain, 
um, I couldn't really handle it because Brains had achieved so much and Gambian had achieved nothing. So for me it was like, God, I'm, I'm 25 now, you know, the, what, what I do now. So, so it's somebody it was, else's um, success. Because yeah, I could never identity. say I did all that, you know, because mm. I hadn't. I'd done it as Brains McLeod. Mm. So, um, yeah, so I mean, but that point, which was kind of the reversal in my career though, because that's when I became me, you know, started to become me again and, and eventually started you know, rise up and now I'm doing quite well, I'm quite happy now. <laughs> Gary, to work out. It is a fascinating story. Um, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, I'm glad this is genuinely you, right? You are from <clears throat> Dundee. Yeah. Because <laughs> we had our expert, our accent expert. Don't give me a polygraph or nothing. <laughs> no, well, we've got one, haven't we? She's doing the weather. Oh, it's Carol checking yeah. out the Scottish yeah, accent. Exactly. We'll ask her. But it sounds pretty convincing. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good luck with your career.